Hey everybody, this is Mary Grothy, and you're tuning in to my podcast, Destination Remarkable, the show where I chat about my journey through life from childhood to founding three companies to my venture launching two books with Forbes. Every week, I'll dive in and unveil the highs, the lows, and even the nitty gritty details of my journey. It's raw, it's real. Let's get started. Hey, Destination Remarkable. This is Mary Grothy, and I think this is a short episode today. I say that sometimes, and then 20 minutes later, I'm still talking, but we'll see what happens. I have a topic that I think in itself is just very short and sweet, but it's something that I think we need to talk about, and it is world changers are not appreciated. In fact, they're persecuted. Let me say that again. World changers are are not appreciated. In fact, they're persecuted because they're a world changer. So let's talk about what it means to be a world changer and what that is. You look at the status quo in the world and the way of living. We talked about in a a different episode about the mental state of people, how we all create our own reality in our minds and a false reality, and it's influenced by things around us. And so we let media influence us and we let um, uh, our, our families and our coworkers influence us and we let world events influence us and we make up stories in our mind and we form opinions. And then you'll see that people like community. And so they will align with people who think like them. And then next you've got these herds and people coming all together. And then you have these waves of people that are marching along and they're all seemingly agreeing and they're thinking the same way. It takes somebody to break out of that status quo to be a world changer. And those world changers have to swim upstream. In order to change the world, you have to do something different than what is happening. And I'm not talking about like a game changer or a person that comes in and does something really exciting in your company or, you know, a friend does something personally for you. It really helps change your perspective on life. A world changer. A world changer means they're doing something to change the world. Therefore, it's going to be based in most likely an unpopular opinion It's not that they won't have people that agree with them, but they may have just a small community of followers and people who agree. And so that world changer, we think about, hey, you know, I want to change the world. You hear that a lot. You hear it a lot with kids. They want to be activists. They, they want to strive for fixing climate problems or hunger or access to clean water. They want to do really dramatic, impressive things in their lives. They have those big aspirations. But over time, what we find is our need for approval and acceptance. And it's very obvious as we start to age and grow up that there are hard paths in life and there are easy paths in life. And sometimes we just get beat up so often it's like, I'm just taking the easy route right now. Like I cannot take any more of this. And I've had those days, but those who claim they want to change the world and they go after it and they do, they're, they're not going to be loved or it's going to be a love hate relationship. And there's two sides to the coin, praise and persecution. And so they're going to have that small following. But ultimately, when I think of a world changer, it's usually the person who is going against pretty big status quo and speaking up for um, what they believe is right and making those big, massive changes and, and bringing those movements forward. But it's hard and it's scary and it's met with a lot of opposition and persecution World changers are just that, they're world changers. But when you look back at their lives or read their memoirs, not one thing of it was glamorous. Not one thing of it was easy. In fact, some of them have been jailed. Some of them have been beaten. Some of them have been, um, uh, what's the word, extra something from their families. <laughs> I can't think of the word. I'm not, I'm not that smart. They've been kicked out of their families. People have turned their backs on them. Um, it's a scary, it's a scary life and it's, and it's hard to live that way, but asking yourself, is it worth it? And recently, uh, earlier this year, I read a book by David Platt called radical and I, my heart was so convicted while reading that book. And I realized that as a Christian, he talks a lot about lukewarm Christians and lukewarm Christianity, like nowhere in the Bible does it say You can, as a good Christian, like you can think of some things in the Bible that you agree with and love, and then it's okay to disagree with other parts. That's not what it says. 
you are either for him or you are against him. You are not mostly with him on the things you agree with, but then not with him on the things you don't agree with. It is you are for him or you are against him. And it talks about the wide gate versus the narrow gate. There's a reason that one is called the wide gate and one is called the narrow gate. Which one is easier to get through? Probably the wide one where everyone else is going. But the narrow gate is for those who are obedient and sacrifice and give it all for him as he gave it for us. And I was really convicted in reading that book. And it really helped me understand that the path that I'm on right now is not going to be met without challenge. And um, I'm a sensitive person. I, I cry. My feelings get hurt. And I realized like, but in the same respect, I'm also fearless. I'm a big risk taker. I'm fearless in most settings. Uh, I'm fearless a lot of the time, but (laughs) fear can creep in for sure. I think it's a strength and a weakness of mine, but I've learned how to embrace fear and turn it into something that works in my favor a little bit more powerfully. But then I look at what I'm willing, what I'm willing to do with my time, my energy, I have high capacity, high urgency. I can get a lot more done with someone in the, or we're compared to what other people can do. I can do it faster, more efficiently. And that's a gift from, from God. And so do I use that to have a competitive advantage in the business world or am I going to use it to change the world? And so for me, reading that book is what put me on this path of, I'm going to be a world changer. I'm going to speak up for what I believe in and I will not be a fool. And I know that I'm going to be persecuted. I know that I have a target on my back. I know that people are really going to enjoy saying things like, I thought she was a Christian. Can you believe that? Fill in the blank. Um, I just put a post out on, on LinkedIn that talked about like, please do not be fooled. I am a Christian, but just like all the Christians around me, we're still humans. When you become a Christian, it doesn't mean that you're like, transformed into Jesus. Like there's only one and we are flawed as humans, but I'm in constant, um, I'm, I'm a constant work in progress and my heart is with the Lord. I am all about, uh, refining and renewing my mind and acting with integrity and heart and passion and loving people and extending mercy and grace to the best of my ability, which I have to tap into the source and allow God to fuel me every single day in order to have something to give. Cause I can't give what I don't have. And on those days that I feel drained and I have nothing left to give, I know I need to listen to myself and I need to unplug and I need to just take that time to rest, get into the word, recharge and remember who I am and who I'm for. So for those of you that are setting out to change the world, those of you who are standing up for what you believe in, just know it is not a glamorous life, but it could be worth it. And being a world changer was never promised to be easy. You'll be faced with trials, challenges, persecution, canceling, and potentially even dying for it, but it's worth it. Thanks for listening to today's episode. If you're interested in connecting with me, you can find me, Mary Grothy, spelled G-R-O-T-H-E, on LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, or Instagram.